At number one on the new worksheet, state whether the pressure of a fixed gas, sorry, of a fixed mass of gas, will increase, decrease, or stay the same in the following circumstances. And so we'll remember what the question is asking us for. State whether the pressure, the pressure of the gas will increase, decrease, or stay the same. Now, look what else the question is giving us. It's telling us that the mass of the gas is staying the same. It's a fixed mass. You're not adding more gas to the mixture. You're not taking away a gas from the mixture. This stays the same. Fixed mass of gas. Now, in A, it says when temperature increases, but volume stays the same. So that means volume is not changing. It's constant. The mass of the gas, how much gas you have, is staying the same. And so it's asking you, truly, the relationship between pressure and temperature. So when temperature goes up, what will pressure do? Well, we know from Gayle Sachs' law that temperature is represented as a denominator and pressure is represented as a numerator. And so as that denominator goes up, in order to maintain you know, its statement of um, equivalence, right? Um, pressure divided by temperature is a constant. The pressure will also have to go up, increase to maintain that uh, relation. B, what about when volume increases but temperature stays the same? Well, when the volume increases, right, you're making the distance between uh, these areas, uh, the, the containers of the wall, walls of the container, further away, so you're going to have fewer collisions. Fewer collisions with the container walls means less pressure. So the pressure is actually going to decrease. And again, this is Boyle's law, the relationship between pressure and volume. There's an inverse relationship, inverse relationship. When one increases, the other decreases. So in this situation, volume is increasing, therefore pressure is going to decrease. C, what about when temperature decreases? Well, Remember, in, in A, we just identified pressure and temperature as having a direct relationship. When one increases, the other one increases. But in C, we're being asked, what about when temperature decreases? Well, that means that pressure is going to change in the same way. When temperature decreases, pressure will decrease. And lastly, D asks, when the volume decreases, what does pressure do? Well, in B, we, we remembered Boyle's Law an inverse relationship, when volume decreases, pressure is going to do the opposite. So when pressure, or sorry, when volume decreases, pressure is going to increase.